Tell him. I got ran over with a car a couple of times. Just a couple of times. Now I've been told that I ran somebody off the road before. I've been told that. I don't know who raised these other whores. I don't know who raised them. You know the vibes. It's Jay. Hand me the lighter, I'm about to get litter than a bitch. Big, big period. Are you serious? These hoes are acting all delirious and I ain't. You know the vibes. It's Jay. What's going on, Jay Squad? Plum Squad is your girl Jay. You already know. Welcome back to Jay Vibes. There's a whole lot of great vibes going on, big period. I am back with a lit reaction video, but you already know if it ain't the littest, it's about to be the realest. Okay? Big period. Now today's video, you guys, is coming from. I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna go back to Amber's Closet YouTube channel, and this video is called Case, cause you know, Case is all four of them together, which is uh, uh, yeah, yep, yeah, and easy. All three of them in easy. They're basically doing a discussion about awkward dating moments. I'm very interested into this video because I've had some awkward moments. And I don't know if I want to call it a date, but I've had some I had some awkward moments. And what's more awkward than awkward is when you can't get out of the awkward moment, okay? Like if I can have an awkward moment and we laugh about it or we literally come out of the situation not being awkward and, and weird we have seceded but if an awkward moment comes about and you find yourself stuck you and that person probably sh you probably shouldn't be doing things period together like at all because that's kind of like a sign that you guys just don't mesh shouldn't mesh shouldn't be messing around not to say that you're messing around i don't i, I don't know i'm just i don't know anyway you guys um we're about to get into this video but before we do please make sure you are subscribed to my channel like this video comment down below share my content you guys and you know the vibe let's get into it and over and then another girl joined in oh well damn it we're back we're back, we're back. <laughs> what like, yo none of this is normal what are you talking like, about what? That's her name. Her name Amber. Duh. It's Amber and Easy. Duh. It's Chrissa. Chrissa. Chrissa, Amber, Stevie, Easy. That's who it is. Last time we talked about some love languages, and this time I'm in their business a little bit. You know, I know. Right. I know. Why you I know. So are they? So they on my page. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're on the same page with that. So today, I want to ask y'all about the craziest women that y'all dated and the worst date that y'all been on. Ooh. I'll put all my business out there. I just don't say their name, but they know what they did. No. You go first. I think, yeah, I think yeah, you go first. Go first. Yeah. Uh, about this one it's not even about first of all i just want to say this there's nothing wrong with talking about people just don't put their name out there and if the shoe fit wear it you know what i'm talking about but if you one of them people that just really don't give a fuck then just don't care just don't care then don't care but if you are part of somebody's life and you've done things in their life to the point where it's a story to tell the, the story will get told the fuck? My other video that I did when I was just, you know what I'm saying, patting myself on the back, basically. You know, people was like, oh, why? Why what? I could talk about whatever I want to talk about. Who I want to talk about as long as I don't say nobody's name. I could be talking about you. I just didn't put your name. 
Some of y'all want me to put y'all name. I think that's why some people really be coming at me sideways. Because y'all be like itching for somebody to say your name. But I'm not saying your name. I'll never say your name. Hmm. Go ahead, Amber. Crazy, but it was just very awkward. Like, I was on a date with someone where they kept feeling like they wanted to bring up my social media. Like, a lot. Aww. It became a topic all night. It was just, like, in a, a very unnecessary way. She kept being like, just so you know, your social media is, like, the worst thing about you. And, like, and I, I feel like she meant it as a compliment because she was trying to say, oh, you was a, in real life. But it was just so unnecessary and rude. It's what? like, this is my... First of all, this business though, yeah, like, I'm glad you like me in real life, but at the same time, did you have to bring it up like that? And it was really yeah. aggressive, and so it made it very awkward, and I was like, I can't, you know what, my, my friend called, I have to go. Maybe she meant it as, like, your social media, as in, like, it's not important to me, and, like, that's how she was probably yeah, saying it. Yeah, but you can very much say yeah, that. You say can that. say it, like, <laughs> yeah. how long were you guys talking for? Uh, that was our first date and last one. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, of course. Yeah. I don't know about y'all. Everybody has a different definition of dating, which is something yeah. that we're going to talk about. I feel like in those scenarios, for some reason, people are really awkward with that subject of social media. I yeah. guess how everybody feels about it is very different. So when they bring it up unnecessarily, that's the yeah. key word here. Yeah. Like they're really very awkward. awkward about it and then it makes the situation awkward. What's the craziest date or craziest type of date? Yeah, y'all know I didn't remember. Oh, yeah. You did what? Right, what? What happened? Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them. I got ran over with a car a couple of times. Just a couple of times. Now you know, you know, I can't even put my head down. I can't even put my head down because um, I've been told that I ran somebody off the road before. I've been told that. I've been told that. And um I think I I think I've done it like twice. You know, just run them off the road. Like phew, get over. You know, like phew, get out the car. Like mm, like I'm a I don't know. I've also been told that I uh no, I thought it was an accident. I've been told that I purposely ran over somebody's foot. I've been told that. But, um, see, the thing is, I didn't purposely do that. I didn't purposely do that. See, I was trying to leave because I didn't want to fight and I didn't want to get hit. Even though I ended up getting hit. So, when I put the car in drive. I guess they was, you know, still in that hitting mode. You know how you got that 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 one foot forward and that other foot back and you in that that little stance. I think they were still in that stance. So when I had went to go put the car in drive, you know, the car just do what it do when it's on the hill. It go. So they foot got ran over. But I didn't purposely do that. This girl said hit with a car a few times honey no now look now it only takes <laughs> one to let them go we one. were young okay uh-huh they were just trying to teach me a lesson oh. but no did you learn yes i did okay. and that was way back then then how come we got ran over more than once the same girl kept running over and then another girl joined in oh well, damn here. Poor bad, poor bad. What? Like, Yo, none of this is normal. What are you talking like, about? What? I don't know. A lot of things were happening. I just went to Cali. <laughs> I was in the military. What does that have to do with getting hit by a vehicle? Right. Is this a right. date or is this your daily routine? Like, that part. I just started talking to someone else while I was talking to someone else. They said, I'm not this stuff no more. I said, mm. that's why you've learned your lesson. Hell no. No. Jail, jail, jail. My worst case scenario was... Oh, it wasn't that. Okay. It's letting go. Don't open up another door until the other one is fully closed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay? I did not know that. All them doors was open. Okay? <laughs> I was just letting people run a marathon through the mm -hmm. Yeah. So, I learned my lesson. I was cupcaking in the car. So, I drove her car, parked by my house. Did not know that my ex, or whatever you want to call it, was in the house watching the whole thing. Ooh. And she came over and boom, on the glass, the door. I know what they feel like in the scary movies now. 
because you can't quite get the key in the... <laughs> oh my god, it was jiggling, jiggling. You know, don't play with people's emotions and don't play with people's feelings, you know what I mean? Mm. But I was, I was very young. Okay, so you're the craziest girl you've ever dated. Right. I didn't do the crazy things. Oh my god. Listen, this is a video I'm coming out with soon, actually. We're going to talk about... There's too much domestic violence and lesbian situations, yeah, right? Yeah. And that's something we got to talk about. Well, let's 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 talk about it because let me tell you something. My first lesbian relationship, we used to fight. We used to fight. I got to a point where I realized I wasn't a fighter; I was a lover. You know what I'm saying? So then I end up, you know, just sometimes getting hit, getting hit. Don't fight back, okay? And then I was like, the streets raised me. How could I? How could I let myself just get hit? So when I got in my next relationship, a bitch was ready. I was ready to go toe to toe. But you know, I'm so small and fast. So one minute I'm here, next minute I'm there. And then I think Shorty was like, you know what? This is fucking with my health. I can't do this. And I was like, facts. We shouldn't do this. So we ended up not fighting. But let me tell you something, I ain't gonna be no third. I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I will beat your ass. Do not put your hands on me. I won't put my hands on you. I do do the little smacks. On the chest and on the arm and on the back. But I'll never hit you in your face. I might smack that booty and your legs. But I like I'm not hitting nobody out of like anger. Okay? It's a difference. But I'm not doing that. I grew up in a very um my parents, they, they, you know what I'm saying? My parents, they, they had their they moments and their times of being domestic. Okay? So, I shall and will not, okay, grow up in that home living lifestyle and then live it. I'm not doing it. I will beat your ass and I will go to jail again. And I, I told myself and, and Jesus and my daddy and everybody that I know in my life that I'll never go back to jail. But I promise you, if a bitch put her hands on me, I'm going to jail. Maybe I won't go to jail. But I'm going to beat your ass. Don't put your hands on me. Automatically, I'm scared. Okay? Automatically. I'm, I'm just, I'm, a, I'm afraid. Because I don't know what you're going to do and I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know I'm going to beat your ass. I don't know how your ass going to get beaten. But it's going to get beat. Don't put your hands on me. Domestic violence, for real though, y'all, that's a, that's a real thing. And if you are somebody that's in a situation like that, it's, it's not funny. And it's not cute. And, it, and it's not, but I love this person. That person cannot possibly love you. Like, I'm just... Mm. I've heard some stories, and it can get ugly, and I've seen some stuff for myself, and it can get bad, but I don't wish that on nobody's relationship, nobody. I don't, stuff like that, I just don't wish on people. And if you are somebody that's in a domestic, violent relationship, friendship, situationship, I don't know what the shipness shipped over, but a shipness is violent, get out of there quick fast and in a hurry because your life ain't nothing to be played with especially mm -mm. i ain't that's a whole nother topic but we we shall amber we shall talk about it we gotta do better y'all and you know, avoid these situations because if you're telling them open and honesty but also we gotta make sure that we're making people realize yeah putting your hands on each other it's not a way especially just because you you're both women does not make it cool okay. at all at all not so for for me guys i've never had crazy scenarios never not one before marriage one thing is is i've only been in three relationships okay and i don't think i've ever had like like a dating dating period one was a best friend another after that died when well, i died sorry my relationship ended <laughs> I, I was alexis and the dating period wasn't like a date wasn't so i'm trying to talk to alexis about letting me get into more dating oh period. lord <laughs> <laughs> Before you die Okay, I got one Awkward date I think I told this story one time I went on a date I didn't really 
like the girl, but she was cool. I really wanted her friend. I'm not going to lie. And the friend wasn't, you know, she wasn't biting on the bait. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the other girl was like, oh, she's mm -hmm. cute or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So we end up going on a date literally like three days after. Right, that. So she was second date. She knows. And she's going to really know once to tell the story. So we get I'm, there. She's oh. like, oh, we can uh, eat sushi. And I'm like, okay, cool. I'm not balling like that. You know what I'm saying? So I got like a uh, California roll. Basic. Love them. Y'all know me on basic. So she gets, I think, like shrimp. She gets uh, tempura rolls, and then she gets some edamame, and then she gets the miso soup, right? She good little bro. Bro. That's that's good. Right. Right. That's a good little meal. So then we're she talking. Was hungry. I'm kind of yeah. really not liking her personality, kind of getting to know her. So the bill comes. She doesn't reach for it. Mm -hmm. And first of all, as a turn off, biggest turn off for me. So I'm like, all right, I'm just gonna act like we're just talking for a really long time. And the reason is because I knew that I only had nine dollars and seven cents in my account. Oh so, shoot. You was a broke nigga. So the I got the California world was only eight fifty. You uh, weren't even gonna tax and tip? No. Eight. She doesn't reach for it. And I'm like, fuck. Like, you know, the masculine energies. I put my card down, the, the lady comes, thank you. Comes back, um, your card was declined. You allowed that to happen? I couldn't that? be embarrassed. That You're was way more I don't think I can ever allow myself to get embarrassed like that. I mean there's so many ways to just tell somebody that you broke without letting them know that you broke. It just you could just say like, hey, I'm broke, right? I'm broke. I'm broke. You could have been like, damn, you got a lot. I'm broke. That's why I only got this. It, it could have been so many ways. But I'll never allow the server to embarrass me, okay? She lost control of the whole situation. The situation was no longer in easy hands when her car left her hands. Knowing that she knew what she had in her bank account. Easy. More embarrassing and awkward for me. And she's like, oh, like, what happened? And I was like, oh, I think I used the wrong card. I'm shuffling through my cards. I got like five cards. Try this one. All declined. So I get my phone, right? And I'm like, yeah, this is ridiculous. I'm an influencer at this point already. When you got numbers, they think you got money. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So then I'm like, you know what? Let me call my bank. Like, something must have happened. Dang, all this? All this is happening. And she just can't just and she doesn't listen, 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 listen. listen. She's like, what's going on? I'm like, they're literally saying there's a fraud account. Like, somebody literally tried to swipe or use my number in Las Vegas, so they froze my account. She's like, what? I'm like, yeah. I'm trying Are to deal with it. And the whole time I wasn't talking to nobody. <laughs> Okay, it's only like oh, it was like $18 or whatever. Oh, that was the most average. Oh, dang. Was, the bill was less than 20 and Shorty still didn't. See, I'm not that type of person. I would definitely offer to pay the bill or go half. Let's figure it out. What do you want to do? I pay, you tip. You pay, I tip. We just. And I've heard like if you go out on a date and you split the bill, you might as well just pay for your own stuff. But I don't feel like that's true because. My meal could have been like $12 and your meal could have been like $24, but I'm still willing to take, you know, a few dollars off of yourself and put it on my tab. You know what I'm talking about? But, um, I don't know. I'm not that type of person. Like, I would definitely pay some shit. Pay for some shit. I would definitely do that. Because I don't, I don't know who raised these other whores. I don't know who raised them. Mm. You even have a on Shady to Easy? Wait, first of all, this is a conversation. Do I always have to pay? Do we always have to pay? That's yeah, exactly that's what true. I'm about to talk about. Like, what? Why do you expect me to pay? I was going to say, because you were like, I'm the masculine energy. What does that What does that matter? Exactly, right? I know this is going to get a lot of people angry. Yeah. yeah. You can't pick and choose when you want to live by these old standards right. and want to be independent women. It's not like I'm against paying for women. I'm just against expectations. Yeah. If we go on a date, we both want to be here. Mm -hmm. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 We want to both be present. In we this both want to eat this food. Right. And when you're in a couple, you guys are together and you guys do things together. You guys make decisions together. Why can't y'all pay together? I'm not talking about a couple. This is a dating situation. But no, but no. you're dating for a reason to find the person that you're with. 
Right. But why do you have to continue to provide always? Right. Everybody yeah. has their different setup. But when we go back to the other video we talked about love languages, I love to give that experience. But in return, you're gonna get that affection. You're gonna get that love. You're gonna get that's that what I'm hoping for. Yeah, that but expectation. It's that but is a turn off though. If they're just like expecting it, I want to take care of it. But I don't but want you to expect, expect. Oh, they got yes. that. Yeah. Exactly. Every time. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Because when I see them do that and like or kind of reach for it, yeah. it makes me be like, oh. Yeah. I remember, um, what, what happened? I don't know what happened because so much has been happening. But, um, we were, me and Bae were somewhere. And I kept trying to pay for stuff. She wouldn't let me pay for it. I got to a point, I said, are you going to let me pay for anything? I had a little attitude. Not like a big, like not, it wasn't like a big and it wasn't a serious attitude. But I was serious. Because I was getting a little pissed off. Like, I don't know if you trying to... I don't know if you think that I'm broke. Or I don't know if... I don't know. I don't know what you're thinking. But you're going to let me pay for something is what I'm thinking. Okay? By the end of tonight, I'm paying for something. Was it that night that we should... We done did so much. I don't know what night it was. But yeah... I won't even allow someone just to keep paying, keep paying, keep paying, keep paying, keep paying. I won't even allow you to do it. I won't even allow you to do it. Even if we go on a date in my car and I need gas and you drove. I'm going to, this is my car. I'm going to put gas in my car, okay? Even if we drive it all out in the next hour or two, okay? Even if, I'm just, I don't know. I don't know who raised these whores. I don't know who raised them. Mm. Okay. Yeah, exactly. 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 Yeah. Sometimes I'm like, that's 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 that. That. I don't know. I won't go on a date. I'll be scared unless I feel like I can take care of it or something. I, like, I've had to borrow money from my broke. dad. No, yeah, no, I was there. So bro. I was there. I've had to be like, call, jump outside and be like, Dad, um, the way my chicken and savings is set up. Set up. <laughs> Can you just yeah. throw some dollars over here real quick? Yeah. So I'm at the dinner and she worked a lot more than I thought. I mean, but at least you came with something. She came with ten dollars less than. But she said she ordered. I thought I was going to get some sushi. I thought I knew what I was getting. I was trying to get to know you. She wasn't even trying to tip. And that's <laughs> why <laughs> I was trying to get to know you. And that showed me. That's why me and Nat are together now. It wasn't gonna work with her. Yeah. It needed to happen. God showed me. What did he show you? He <laughs> was telling me <laughs> and said, "Listen here. Nah. Listen here now." Nah. Discussion videos with the girls. I love it. With the girlfriends. With I'm gonna just say C because I don't I don't think it's is it Chrissa? I don't think it's Chrissa. It look like Chrissa. C. I'm gonna just call him Miss C. Miss C and Amber and Stevie and Evie. I love this, you guys. I love these discussion segments like these are really dope very different 
Um, but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you already know what to do. Give this video a thumbs up. Double check yourself and make sure that you are subscribed to my channel. And make sure your bell is turned on for all post notifications. You know what I'm talking about? Big period. What's that? Hey, Debbie. Debbie be blowing me up, y'all. Notification game. Okay. Make sure you comment down below. Share my content. And I am signing out to the next video. But I want to say that I hope that you are having a great day. A blessed, beautiful, prosperous day. Be safe. Be blessed. And stay clean because COVID is still outside. I don't. I don't even think COVID is going away. COVID is like. COVID is like when you thought you wore the condom, but you didn't wear the condom. So now the baby is here, and nobody wanted the baby, but you got to keep the baby. And you never tell the baby that you didn't want the baby, but the baby feels unwanted. Yeah, that's COVID. Um. Yeah, still here. All right, Debbie. What you got? What you got going on, girl? Okay. Somebody didn't mention me in their story. Let me go check my notifications. I'm signing out to this video. Peace. Nah, I ain't conceited. I'm, I'm a different breed. It catch you slipping. Best belief, I don't need no reason. I'ma cut the ties, ho. Turn your wife to my hoe. Just focus on you, baby girl. <laughs> Vibes. You know the vibes, you know the fuck going on And I'm out this bitch